family and I work hard for what we want, and we really don't give up, and we definitely don't take things for granted. We love and care for one another and are good people, regardless of what others think my culture represents in the U.S. That being said, growing up as a first-generation American is a cool and, at times, annoying experience. My dad immigrated to the U.S. in the mid to late 90s from Honduras via foot, train, car, bike, etc. He came with his sister, Sandra. It took them together roughly three and a half months to get here. My mom immigrated to the U.S. at about the same time my dad did, and she came from Colombia with her mom and brother via airplane. Growing up with them was fairly different in the sense that my dad and his family didn't really have money, and they lived in the country. They were also farmers, and they were self-dependent. And at the age of seven, he started working in the fields with his dad, collecting bags full of produce and loading them up into trailers for roughly eight to ten hours a day, seven days a week. And when it wasn't harvesting season, he'd go around San Pedro Sula looking for any and all work to get money to support his family. Yet his parents were extremely strict with him and raised them right, and he shared those lessons with me. My mom grew up completely different from my dad because she came from a wealthy Colombian family that owned a large chain of furniture stores, and she didn't have to work until a couple years after she came to America. Yet, her family was very strict with her, and they made sure she grew up to be a very well-respected and liked woman, which she did grow up to be that. They were both very, raised fairly strict and in sense right, which is good because I strongly agree that they raised me to be a smart, well-behaved, polite young man, and I'm very grateful for that. Although having immigrant parents isn't always fun at times, for instance, not being able to hang out with people like ever and getting spanked for the dumbest things, I don't get spanked anymore, and having to start work at a young age and taking up major responsibilities around the house and family, although... The upsides are, with those responsibilities, I learned a lot of things. For an average 17-year-old, knowing how to drive a truck with a 20-foot trailer and knowing how to reverse it is pretty beneficial for the work I do with my dad. They've taught me how to be street smart and not give into things so easily, and to be just as good of a person as you can be because you don't know if you'll have tomorrow. They've taught me how to defend myself both verbally and physically and how to grow whatever you have and make it better than before. I like the lesson because both my parents had literally nothing when they came to the U.S. and learned and learned. And when it came time to apply what they knew, they did it in very good fashion. We have our own company because of that. And it is very profitable and we have a large clientele to where we're overbooked some weeks. My favorite lesson they've taught me is how to cherish the little things because kids my age... No matter the gender, ethnicity, religion, etc., we take our parents' hard work for granted, and that's wrong. My dad comes home at 3 in the morning sometimes with blistered hands, and yet he'll be up and ready to go out the door at 7 in the morning. And if me or my brothers or mom ask for something, he doesn't hesitate, and he'll get it for us. And we've learned to appreciate that because not many people are like that. When you think of my family and me, or people of my race, do not think of us as bad people who steal or take other people's jobs and just take advantage of the public assistance programs. Think of us as hardworking, kind people who care for one another and love each other a lot.